It is currently 6 in the morning and I made it to Japan. I am so, so happy to be back in Japan. I've been waiting and waiting for this trip and just so pumped to go to Ebisu again and spend a week drifting. And this week also goes into Matsuri. And if I thought the last Matsuri was wild, this one is supposedly going to be like 10 times more insane. And right now, borders are way more open than they were before. I'm so beyond happy to be here. And we have so many of our friends here in Japan for this Matsuri, so it's just going to be absolutely incredible. I stayed at a hotel last night that was right near Tokyo Station, so I could get up bright and early and make my way to Ebisu. So I need to take the bullet train, which I've never taken before, and go to the Fukushima Station, and then Chrissy is going to be picking me up from there, and then it's about a 30 minute drive to the track. I've never traveled anywhere internationally by myself, so I have been like a little nervous about this train part, but this is just only like a tiny bit of the trip where I will fully be by myself and trying to figure out how to get around. Wish me luck. I chose this hotel specifically because it is right next to Tokyo Station because I knew I had to be up early and this just took out at least a little bit of complexity in terms of getting a cab and showing up on time. So hopefully this goes smoothly. So that is how you get to the hotel. And here is Tokyo Station. ticket like I do. I'm cart number 10, so I'm looking on the ground trying to find cart 10. So this thing is gonna go like 200 miles per hour, which is insane to think. This is my train. I get to go on the purple and pink one.
now I just need to find Chrissy and then we are heading straight to Episu. There she is! <laughs> so I made it! Chrissy picked me up. Thank you. You're and welcome. I was giving her props. I was like, wow, like I'm proud of myself for navigating the train by myself, but she drove here. <laughs> and that to me is way more intimidating. I'm try not to kill us on the way. Hopefully we made it back because I didn't know that she'd never done this before, really. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> Please don't do this. Hug. I'm so happy like right when we were pulling in just the energy just started to like fill my entire body up and I am so freaking stoked to be back and I'm even more happy that it's actually relatively chill at the moment. Um, this weekend is going to get wild. There's going to be hundreds of cars here for Matsuri. It's gonna be the first Matsuri that's really, really open. Big thank you to Sidex for prepping my car, bringing it to the track, and the Sidex is actually based at North Course now, which is where we are. So Sidex crew and fam will be based right here all week long. They did do a couple updates to this car. Um, I do have an oil cooler on it now, and if you saw the front bumper, I got a fresh new front bumper, so we will see how long that lasts. <laughs> show off the front bumper because I don't know how long it's gonna stay this nice. Look at it! There are a few things that I need to do to the car. One of them being putting on my brand new Vertex wheel. I got called out for having a fake Vertex wheel. So the one that was in this car is fake and I should have known because look at this. I don't know if you can see how bendy that is. So the owner and his son, they were so sweet. They like, you know, let me know that it's definitely a fake and actually met up with me at Shibuya Crossing and let me pick out a wheel. I'm obsessed with this wheel. I took it back with me to the US and I put it in the RX-8, but it was originally meant for this car to replace this wheel. So we're going to get this one in the car. I also brought over my G-Technic survival supplies. I had all this in my chuck bag, by the way. The perfect last and quick detailer. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down and then put my new wheel on and then head to school course. You can never sleep in traffic Cause living steady coming I know cause I try asking Now I see through your habits Just like gadgets You tell me with that My absolute favorite thing about Vertex wheels is all of the elaborate embroidery across so many of their wheels. I love it so freaking much. Right on top of the perforated leather.
anything and in second gear I haven't even done one lap and in second gear it's hesitating so I'm gonna pop the hood see if I can see anything visually if it's something boost related or what hopefully it's just something minor so I'm really hoping it's something boost related and not fuel related like I need to get a new pump or that the pump is shorting out on something in the tank. That's what happened to Adam the last time we were here. None of the couplers seem to be super loose. The lines seem fine. Um, this area is what we thought maybe a leak could be because this is where I crashed at Nico um, with Sam and Jason and this whole piece was kind of like rigged up after Nico but I drove after Nico multiple days with it and didn't have an issue and nothing seems loose. No. I haven't done one lap yet. You're just trying to get a clickbait title, Colette. I know what you're trying to I do. I broke my car already. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's me. Hi. related that would be a lot better than it being fuel related at this point and maybe just you know the controller settings got messed with between the last time I was driving and now but we're gonna get some food first and figure this out afterwards this is single-handedly the most majestic tow rig I've ever seen in my entire life what a flex Wow. like there there's just little moments 
where you need to manually steer the car to make it feel better. So I'm still getting acclimated again to that. There's no other car that I drive where that's a thing. So that's super weird, getting used to again. I love this. And there's like nobody here now. Look at this. My phone is dead. I have no distractions. There's like no one here. Right now, this moment, this is what I've been thinking about the entire way here and really ever since I left this place on the last trip. So, <sighs> feeling good. I definitely need to get a lot more comfortable in my car before I start driving with everyone that's been here for days. I'm still not sure how the car feels in the chase position and what weird different steering things I'm gonna have to do for that. But so far, so good. This one's a medium and it's a 20 degree one, so it's meant for sitting upright, not laying down like in Formula Car. I'm just so happy to be back here in Japan with my JZX 100. My car is so pink and so beautiful and she rips and just makes me really, really happy. I got many, many more days of driving coming up. Comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you guys want to see. This is just day one. I had Lots of fun, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> hold me now, hold me.